Hi everyone, welcome back to Flow, your 30 day yoga journey. It's day seven, can you believe it? And on day seven, we're gonna hone in on synchronizing the breath with the movement and the movement with the breath. Let's get started. Alrighty, let's begin in a nice, comfortable seat. Come on down to the ground. You might sit up on a blanket or block. You might even move the fleshy part of the buttocks, old school style, uh, so you can really feel your sits bones on the ground. And we have begun. Take a moment to just notice how you feel. Maybe a little breath of gratitude here for making it to the mat. I know it's not easy, but the hard part is done. I'm so glad you're here. Just take a couple moments to drop in, find length in the spine, a gentle lift in your heart. Letting go of the day thus far and perhaps you give yourself permission here to put anything that's on your to-do list away. Just place it on the top shelf for the duration of this practice and we'll pick it up later. Start to gently deepen your breath. And if you like, you can play today with bringing the tip of the tongue to the roof of your mouth and starting to breathe with an audible sound. If this is new for you, it's a lot like fogging up a window with your breath, like so. You can even give that a try. But then we recreate that sound by sealing the lips, bringing the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth. providing us an anchor for the mind, enhancing the soundtrack of our breath here on the mat. In traditional yoga, we call this pranayama ujjayi breath. Just creating this ocean-like sound on the inhale and on the exhalation. And of course, not to be that gal, but I do have a video on Ujjayi if you are more curious. But for now, just play with whatever's coming up, finding a little audible sound. We're gonna use that throughout today's practice. All right, shall we? Let's come forward onto all fours and start to sync up the breath with the movement and the movement with the breath. So chances are you've already been doing this, but we're gonna really focus on it today. Spread the fingertips wide like starfish, walk the knees underneath the hip points and let the breath fuel the movement. Try to be disciplined about that today as we focus on the synchronization. So inhale, drop the belly, open the heart. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest, navel draws up. Sync up with your breath. Should feel good. Move nice and slow. And the next time you inhale, come to tabletop position. Slight bend in the elbows. On the inhale, we're gonna send the right toes out, left fingertips forward. 
with that ujjayi breath. And then exhale, left elbow to left hip crease, right knee to right elbow. We've been here before, nice long neck. Good, inhale, reach and extend. Exhale, round everything in, knee to nose. Repeat that pattern twice more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Next stays long. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round everything in. Arch the back. Inhale, extend. Remember on this one, spine stays nice and long. Inhale, extend. Rounding through. Beautiful. Release and switch. Here we go. Reach the right fingertips forward, left toes back. Once you've established your strong foundation, inhale, reach, 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 and exhale, bending the knee, bending the elbow, neck stays long. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose, navel draws up. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend, neck stays long. Inhale, extend, move slow. Exhale, round it in. Last round, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And release, awesome work. Walk the hands forward, curl the toes under, come up to a plank. Inhale in here, exhale to stay. Inhale to look forward, shift forward, exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Palms come off the mat here, tuck the chin, rolling up to a version of cobra here as you breathe in. And then follow that exhale, audible exhale as you come down. Repeat twice more, inhale. Rise up, sinking with the breath, exhale, cascade it down. Now press into the tops of the feet, press into the pubic bone, last one. Inhale with your breath, rise up. And exhale, soften and release. Awesome, press to all fours. Curl the toes under, walk the hands back and we'll come into our little froggy squat. Check it out. Always pull a, a block into the picture if you like. Benji, quite. Picturesque in the windowsill. You can't write this stuff, you guys. You can't make this up. He just, he loves to play with the architecture. Well done, quite the artiste. Okay, here we go. Drop the heels. Let's come into a forward fold. Take your time, feet nice and wide, toes pointing forward. Relax the weight of the head over, bend your knees. And let's find some soft, easy movement here that feels good. Listen to your body. Could be walking the fingertips to one side, then the other. Maybe clasping the elbows. Maybe a gentle nodding of the head, yes. Shaking the head, no. Maybe it's something else. Maybe you've been carrying a little anxiety or a little worry about something. Maybe this is an opportunity to experiment with letting that go, letting it slip off the back, off the shoulders, back into the earth so that when you rise up, you feel a little bit lighter, a little more at ease. Feel your foot to earth connection, bada banda, all four corners of the feet ground. If the arms are in a bind, go ahead and release them and let's bend the knees generously, tuck the chin into the chest and slowly roll up to standing. As you rise up to mountain pose, find that strong footing. So almost as if we're trying to tear the yoga mat right down the middle. The legs are strong. You can feel the quads engaged. The kneecaps lift just a little bit. And without looking down, slowly slide the feet together, really together, arch to arch. If you did look down, that's okay. But just notice. And now we're zipped up tight through the legs. We're finding this lift in the chest. We're gonna take the shoulders all the way up to the ears and then exhale, take them back around and down. 
Repeat, inhale, squeeze and lift. Exhale, back and down with the shoulders. Last one with the sound of your breath. Nice, now let's keep this conversation going with the breath. So inhale, with your inhale, that breath fuels the reaching of the arms up, navel draws in, exhale, wiggle the fingertips, that fuels the forward fold motion down. Good, bend the knees, inhale, slowly, mindfully, with an attention to detail, walk the hands all the way out to your plank. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, send the hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Three cycles of audible breath here to stretch it out. Bend one knee, then the other, shift the hips from left to right, feel that lengthening through the side body, but also this lengthening and elongating through the front and the back side as well. Nice. And when you're ready, anchor through the left heel, press into both palms evenly, and slowly inhale. Imagine you're sliding your right foot up a wall. So we're not just slinging the right foot up, but we're starting to get a little more into the detail and sliding that foot up an imaginary wall. Beautiful. Then turn the toes down, press into both palms evenly, hug your low ribs in to engage your abs. You notice how that changed my voice there. <laughs> Powerful. Not me, but my muscles. Okay, here we go. You're like, Adrian, stop talking. Send that right foot all the way up into the lunge. Breathe. Back knee stays lifted. Pull the right hip crease back and then bend. Straighten the front leg and then bend. Straighten and bend. From here, high lunge. Inhale, strong legs as we reach the fingertips forward, up and back. Front knee stays bent. You can take a second to bend that back knee and get your center right underneath you. And then we're gonna repeat. Pull the right hip crease back, straighten the front leg, and then bend. Straighten, inhale, and bend. Straighten, and bend, sink a little bit deeper, lift the chest, maybe carve a line with your nose, look up and then slowly release everything down. Plant the palms, step the right toes back, inhale in, follow that audible breath as you exhale, belly to cobra or chaturanga to upward facing dog. Inhale to lift the chest, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale to soften and release, curl the toes under. Press up to plank or all fours, your choice. Take a deep breath in here, and then exhale to your downward facing dog. Breathe in, <laughs> breathe out. All right, anchor through the right heel. Inhale, slide that left leg up that imaginary wall. So you're really reaching out and extending. Dial the left toes down, press into both palms evenly. I won't keep you here too long. Hug the lower ribs in, engage the abs. And then slow and steady, step it forward. Nice and easy, lift that back knee, and then pull the left hip crease back, breathe in. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Now we're gonna squeeze the inner thighs to the midline, find that connection to center, and inhale, sweep the fingertips forward, up and back. Fully embodying the posture here, building it from the ground up, drawing the navel in and up. Here we go. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Move slow, exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Relax the shoulders, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Now squeeze the inner thighs to the midline, lift up from the pelvic floor, lift your chest and maybe send your gaze up. Good, and then slowly release, bring it all the way down. Plant the palms, step the left toes back. And we take a little flow here. Inhale, shift forward, belly to cobra, or chaturanga to upward facing dog. Meeting spot is downward facing dog. In 
downward dog. We're gonna slowly bend the knees, walk the hands all the way back to the toes, so forward fold at the back edge of your mat. Bring the left fingertips to the center of your mat, or you can use your block here, bring the earth up to you a little bit. And then as if you were pulling a bow and arrow, you're gonna bring your right fingertips to your left wrist, straighten through your right leg, so pull your right hip crease up, bend your left knee and pull that bow and arrow all the way up across the chest and up to the sky. Peek at me if you need to. Lengthen the crown of the head, spiral your heart towards the sky. Breathe. Inhale in, exhale, take it right back down the way you came and we'll switch. Left hip crease pulls up this time to straighten that leg, bend the right knee, and we pull that bow and arrow all the way up across the chest. We lengthen through the crown, We're following our breath, spiraling the heart all the way up towards the heavens, and then on an exhale, taking it all the way back down. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift, your version, just a little reset. Exhale to soften and bow. Ground through the feet, spread the fingertips. Inhale, reach for the sky, all the way up you go. Exhale, palms come together and down at your heart space. Breathe in. Breathe out. Reconnect to that audible breath, breathe in. Breathe out. On your next inhale, reach for the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out, forward fold. Nice. Inhale, slowly walk it to plank. Stay for the exhale, draw your abs up. Stay here, inhale, lengthen through the crown. Exhale, stay here, reach through the heels. You can always lower to the knees if you need to, working on the same action points. Last time, inhale in, lift up through the shoulder blades, and exhale, stay here. Nice, and then slowly lower to the knees, cross the ankles and come through to cross-legged. On your next breath in, you're gonna send the fingertips out left to right. Like so, we'll do this slowly first and then we'll do the pattern together. So inhale, we come so that the wrists are in line with the shoulders, shoulders are down and relaxed. Exhale, keep the heart lifted, lift, lift, lift as you bring your palms together, Anjali Mudra. Then chin to chest, a little throat chakra lock here as you reach behind, bring the palms together behind the neck. Nice stretch here. And then inhale, we roll up from the base of the spine all the way up through the crown of the head, reaching the fingertips all the way up. And then we exhale, press some hot air slowly, slowly, slowly down. And then we're back to one. Let's do it. This is how we're closing our practice today. So we really wanna think about the movement is only happening because of the breath. Think of it as the fuel, the gas. So the length of the breath really is the extension of the movement. And it can get a little tricky, but it can also feel really nice when you feel things start to sync up. Let's give it a try. I'll guide the way, here we go. Lift the chest, lift through the crown. And begin, inhale, send the fingertips out left to right. Nice, slow breath. Exhale, hands together at the heart. Chin to chest, you retain the breath here as you reach behind. Then inhale, belly draws up, we reach. Exhale, press. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, palms together. Chin to chest, reach behind, inhale. Exhale, press. I'll guide one more round and then leave you to it. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, palms together. Chin to chest, reach behind. Inhale, rise up. 
Exhale, float it down. Now let your breath fuel these gestures. See what happens. Wherever you are, do one more round. I'll meet you in Sukhasana. Nice, easy cross-legged seat. You can allow the hands to rest gently on the body somewhere. And just notice how you feel. Just remember when you're learning something new, give yourself grace. Let it be motivating. Great reason to come back to the mat. Try again. Just notice how you're feeling, what thoughts are coming across your mind. Great work today. As you step off the mat, you can start to notice when you sync up with your breath in your daily life and when it could be beneficial to sync up with your breath a little bit more, with a little more awareness in your daily life. Let's bring the palms together right up to the third eye. Take one final breath in, sit up nice and tall. And one last breath together as we bow the head, the heart, and say ta-ta for now. See you tomorrow. Namaste.